Hey guys, and welcome back to Spore. Now, it has been bloody ages since I've played this game. Uh, at least it feels like it's been ages since I've played this game. Now, what we are going to do is find out where the frick we're meant to be going. Because if I remember, we were... Oh. We were stuck. Um... So, we can, we can go down here. Let's have a little look down here, shall we? Yeah, we were stuck. We've just lowered the water uh, level. Which seems on paper like a really cool idea and a good thing. But, um, we are looking for a key card. I believe it's the C card we're looking for. Yeah, um, a blue one, in fact. This, uh, this is not the right way. We've already been this way. Okay. Now, I have been wandering around this place for ages. Uh, <laughs> getting thoroughly lost, uh, as I'm sure you can imagine. Because uh, when you don't play this game for two or three weeks, and then you have a little run around, everywhere just looks the same. It's I think that's... Uh, a, a, quite a big criticism of this game is the environments they're they're so similar um and it really does add to the confusion with a lack of a decent map as well which uh, doesn't help matters never mind we shall persevere because hey that's what we do the body is partly eaten well that's not very good is it uh okay so that's I get the feeling like we're literally running out of places where it could possibly be. I mean, we know that... We Ooh, fuck. Hello, boys. Oh, Jesus. You right there, boys. Get off. Uh, okay, he's dead. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. And I keep forgetting we can actually cycle between our... Oh, yeah, we got the fucking grenade launcher, didn't we? Yeah, strap that to your ass. And we've got 10 rounds for it as well, which uh, is not insignificant. Uh, what's left? Right! Yes! Is this the way? Well, uh, this is a way down. Is it the way down? I don't know. Um, let me silence my phone. Oh, we're still in quite deep water here. Oh, man. We're like... Oh, okay. We can still fight... Which is good. Yeah, so uh, I have actually finished The Last of Us 2. Um, it took me about two months to get through the game and... Well... Oh, fuck. Can we even hurt this thing? Uh... Yeah... Uh, yes. We can hurt this thing, apparently. Oh, now the way we're wading through this water is is fairly ridiculous as well. <laughs> it's making me giggle. Oh fuck! Yes, right boys, we're making some progress here. Right, get down, you bastards! I am not in the mood to play with you boys. Okay, let's just do our happy wady dance. Ah, mushrooms. I. Yes, question mark. Partly eaten body. Um, right, yeah, I mean, I, 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 yes, I guess that is indeed mushrooms. Can we? We can. Set these explosives off underwater. Good, excellent. And we actually do get a specialized water sound effect and effect. Cool. No, put the R-Buster away, boy. There we go. 19 o'clock. I love that. <laughs> Surely it just means, it's, you know, it's a block. But hey, let's not split too many hairs around here. All right. We're making progress at last. Because I don't think we made a lot of progress in the last video. What the hell was that? I have no idea. <laughs> so let's... Just wade slowly through this water. It's I'm sure it's... F oh, sea card. Thank you. You're one of the good ones. Now, let's go see if this dude's got anything. 
card. Something terrible has happened here. Gee, you think? Looks like they had a party. Jesus. All right, well, there's some funky voodoo going on here. Let's see if we can monoxide the guy out. Or failing monoxide, see if we can use explosives. Yeah, I guess not. Let's hope that he uh, doesn't get too angry about us sending shockwaves through his in uh, his habitat. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Well, we got the C card now. Let's look. Is the C card blue? Uh, uh yes. Yes, it is. Of sorts. So, blue doors. Let's have a look. See, there's two doors in this room. But that, of course, means uh, above. Which is really silly, and I don't like it. No, sir. Right. So, we need to go back to deck four. All right. I guess we can do that. Let's get out of here. Let's do a stupid wady walk. It's just a waddle over here. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, surely this water is just about deep enough where we could swim. Wouldn't that be better than um, doing this weird waddle? Which is uh, thoroughly entertaining. I have to be honest. You know, it is pleasing me greatly. Now... Uh, in other news, I have also been watching, well, me and the missus, we've watched the entirety of the Resident Evil films. Yes. Yeah. Because I hadn't seen the last two, and I hadn't seen the Resident Evil films for years, and... Oof. Yeah. Uh, right, let's get up here. I really don't like that Alice character. Oh my god. You know, if you could contract AIDS from watching a character. Oof. Yeah. And uh, I was quite excited. Uh, I think it was in the, the second to last movie. Where they finally introduced Leon and Barry. I mean, I guess they were meant to be Leon and Barry. It, 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 it was a bit of a stretch. Leon looked wrong Barry just you know it was almost if if you described Barry to a blind man uh, and then allowed the blind man to design the costume and character that was probably what happened um, I must admit Ada won they got her pretty much spot on she was probably the best character um, Jill was just a straight up um, no, what are you doing? That is not Jill. You monsters. Have you even, you know, looked at the source material? Um, now, what else? Who else do we have in that film? Oh, God. There's loads of just, like, random characters. No, none of the characters, like, kind of really existed within each other, you know? They, they, they didn't even know each other. They just... They were literally just put there to have the names in the film. They, they oh man, that film was just a, the whole series is such a disjointed mess. Uh, I how they made so many of them was just bizarre. Wesker was just you know like a bad comedy act of actual Wesker. He was just embarrassingly bad. Um, you know those films that just make you cringe all the way through? Ugh. I mean, as stupid, cheap action adventures, I mean, they were okay for a laugh, but... Oh, man, the Resident Evil franchise deserved so much better. And then, of course, you had Claire Redfield, which was... Well, I mean, she wasn't Claire. She was some strange yeehaw trucker. And then... You had her brother Chris, obviously, Chris Redfield. He was in the series as well, but he was, again, he was Chris in name only, and they kind of vaguely glossed over the fact that uh, Chris is Claire's brother. 
no mention of any military history or connection to stars. Oh man, it's just no, no, no. Uh uh, N no. Uh uh. Right now we're back on the winning side here. So we've got two doors we can check out. We've got the hold block A, which let's go check that one out first i guess i mean i guess we have to go to both of the, these doors anyway so i mean you know if you like the resident evil films you know more power to you but oh no no uh -uh. right yeah it's very much a, a discount bootleg version of itself right we can actually see where when i last played this game because the date is the third. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's probably just over two weeks ago I played this. Oof. Damn, son. Okay. We have our key card. Which is good. And we have two doors to unlock. Which is good. Oh, bloody hell. That door's above us, isn't it? Now, where is... Oh, Jesus. One second, guys. I have to take this message. Okay, so uh, there might be some uh, pauses and whatnot in this video just because uh, I'm kind of sorting something out uh, for tomorrow at the time of this recording anyway, which is the family is expanding. Yes. My household is expanding by two two fluffy little terrorists um we have been waiting for quite a while and now we're just trying to organize and finalize the last of the details you know it's very strange not having pets and i don't like it no sir i don't like it at all so uh, it took us a year to convince the landlord to let us uh, have a cat and you know why have one cat when you can have two so we have two eight week old are they nine no nine week old now kittens coming here tomorrow which i will make an update video about and all that lot uh right kittens chaos mm, and that is also one of the reasons why i haven't had a lot of time recently um making sure everything's okay with them and sorting this issue out. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, because there has been issues with it, but it, mm, ah. update video. Right, let's go through here. Somehow, we should be able to get to this room. You know, even with the map, this, this, this gives me a headache, this, navigating this area. I think, yeah, again, that's what that's one of the things that really displeases me with this game. Navigating your way around. It's really not good. Okay, so... Oh, man. I'm sorry, did you think the game was dark before? Bearing in mind, I have been lightening up, lighting up every video. Um, right. Uh... I'm guessing this is going to lead us up somewhere to further the story, which is fine, however, we don't want to further the, um, push the story forward too far yet. Let's see if we can go open this other door. God damn it! All right, well, we had a 50-50% chance of going the right way. I'm guessing one of these areas is optional, and we picked the wrong one. Oh. Right, so back through here, then. Um, Now, are we on the right level? I, I hate the fact that there's two different levels on the same floor, but that isn't referenced referenced on the map so we can go down there but we don't want to go down there we want to go through there but we can't 
Uh, hold blocks. I can't remember how we get back through to that other room now. Ah, right, yeah, so we can go this way. I think. Cool, alright. What a confusing map system. I mean, it's so strange because they obviously tried to put a map in. Um, a somewhat very detailed map, actually. But they didn't really try very hard because they've missed a lot of important things out on the map. Like, why go this far to make a proper map of, like, half of the levels? Um, oh, fuck. Hello. We got that gribbly motherfucker down there. Oh, yeah, not on my watch. Let's go exterminate this bastard. Come on, you apes! You want to live forever? Uh, oh, two of them. Can we actually... Yes. Oh, son of a bitch. He's gone. Contact splashed. Get down, motherfucker. Oof, I like this. I like this machine gun so much. It's so much fun. Uh, right, cool. It does kind of look like the uh, gun from Starship Troopers as well. Which pleases me immensely. Now, this might also be the right way to go, because we're encountering new enemies this way. And that's usually a, a surefire indicator, and I am getting more messages. Ah. When you only have such a small time to record each week. Uh, okay, um, right. Let's go up and around. Oh, shrooms. Are there doors behind these shrooms? There are not. Okay. Okay. Right. So let's go up and through here. And see what's through here. Maybe there's some kind of like armory. Maybe there's ooh. Maybe there's some goodies. What? What are these? Right. Well, it look ah. Do you got anything? What a terrible way to die. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, right, we need to go this way. Can we actually do anything with this box? Like, maybe if we free it? With some of these bad boys? Does that actually help us in any way? Can we, like, push it? Which is real good. Let's just waste as many of these shrooms as we can. There's got to be like something behind these, surely. I guess we can only have one bomb on the screen at once. Which I suppose kind of makes sense. Oh. No, okay. I thought that looked like somewhere that we can actually probably have a good squiz around, but I guess not. Now, what about this gentleman here? Can we just, like, blast his head open or something? And get to the goodies within? Well, I mean... It showed us... Something going off. So he's got, like, a screwdriver in his face. What a terrible way to die. Okay, so we... Or, or a knife, maybe. So we can actually see what he was talking about. Because with the uh, mushrooms there, we can actually see... Uh, that he was off, <laughs> obviously saying this guy had a bad time because he's got a fucking knife sticking out of his face. Right, so that's the C card used up, which is good. So what's in here then? Oh, hello. Hey, what happened? What do you think? The bastard. Uh oh. Hey, hey get it together. What happened? <laughs> he, he he just took the. The stuff, and that's it. What? The, the, uh? Who did this to you? What stuff? Hang in there. Yeah, uh, it looks like he was killed with a knife. He's carrying a memo. Oof, to my comrade. One second, guys. To my comrade. Ah, well, fucking wonderful, that. 
Alright, um... Look, no... Item, how do we... Uh, there we go, data. Is it a memo? Yeah, I think it's a memo. Memo that Vic... Ah, oh, right, okay, he's called Victor, apparently. To my comrade, the thing that... Uh, that thing that Southern Cross wanted looks much more like... Looks like much more than we bargained for. It seems to be the cause of all the mutants on the ship. Yes. I finally had a chance to get my hands on it when you blew the engine room. But I got caught in the flames and dropped the airtight capsule. It shattered, I'm sorry. The spy and the investigation team will come get the thing. But without the capsule, we won't be able to hand it over. Maybe somebody on the investigation team will have a capsule, but it doesn't matter. I'm through. If they don't get what they want, they'll take us out. Just to keep us quiet. If you know what's good for you, you'll get out too. Right, so... He was one of the guys that's trying to sneak everything out of here. Kind of looks like he was moving. He's already gone. So, I, a container like the one outside. It's full of dirt. I'm guessing that that's where the infection came from. Hmm, okay. Some type of container as it was outside. That was all that was here. Just like that cutscene. A little bit of background information. I mean, it's good background information, but it seems like a fairly good long way to come. Just to... Ah. Two machine gun magazines obtained. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, that's... It's empty. What's what's empty? I guess whatever was there. Now, what I like about the machine gun as well is per round, it seems to do more damage than the handgun. Which is very unusual in these type of games. Usually the, the automatic weapons are very weak. Uh, but you generally get a lot of ammo and you get a decent rate of fire. So, it's interesting to see that they went for that angle. Okay, now we can go all the freaking way back. Uh Nah, looks like we've got more... Yeah, there's loads of mushrooms here. Like, uh, There's no point in like blowing them up, though. That's the thing. This doesn't seem to yield us anything. Which is a shame. Um, Right, so we'll go through this door. And I'm guessing now we can link up with our other team members. Kind of. Maybe. Ish. Possibly. I don't freaking know. This game's layout is just odd. I mean, those weird... Oh! So those weird bug things are gone, but... No, they're not. He's standing there like a moron. Uh-oh. Run! Ow! Thanks, dude. Thanks for that claw right in the face. More like the chest, but hey. Who's counting? Uh... Okay, so, I mean, I guess... I get... Okay... Like, is it me? Alright. Or are the enemies in this game just unbelievably weak? Like, dude, <laughs> what's the point in using the, the machine gun? You know? They just drop dead very easily. Uh, I mean, you know, hey, whatever. And that's fine. That makes our job easier. The machine gun doesn't really feel like a good weapon for sweeping and clearing areas either. You can't really wave it around like you can in Resident Evil. Um, now, let's think about this. So, we need to go this way. Uh, through there. Yes. Yes. Wait. No. Through that one. Uh, it's got to be said as well, that sound effect for when the map comes up, or your menu, indeed, is just ridiculous. Oh, I mean, what is it? Is it? It sounds like an AI, like, dying its last breath or, or something, a computer program just on the fritz. It's just, I don't know, it's such a deeply unpleasant sound. Okay. So, we've been through there. 
And that's good, because that's where we need to go. I'm guessing we're going to take this set of stairs to wherever the hell that goes. Okay. Alright. So I adjust my chair. There we go. That's better. Right. Yeah, this is the room that's just unbelievably dark. Because it's dark, I think we should be packing some heat. Be nice if there's a way to reload your gun. But I don't think... Without going into the menu, I don't think there is a way to uh, reload your gun. Which is similar to Resident Evil, to be fair. Or the OG Resident Evils. This is a shame. I think you should always be able to reload. Oh, oh fuck. I was about to say, holy shit, it's dark in here. Yeah, I'm not buying what you're selling. Well, maybe, maybe these aren't that powerful, actually. Come on! Yeah, not sure, actually. Not sure. Uh, if. Not sure if uh, the machine gun is more powerful than the uh, handgun. It's inconsistent. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Right, uh, you got nothing. Let's have a look. We have a door. I like doors. Doors are generally good for going through. I wouldn't like to go through a wall. But a door? Doors are fine. Oh, fucking hell. That actually made me jump. He's already gone. I know he's already gone, but has he got any stuff for us? And should we be blowing all these weird mushrooms up? I mean, it couldn't hurt, I suppose. There's got to be stuff behind some of them, surely. Ooh. The hell was that? This floor's electrified. Well, that's not fun. All right. Not sure how powerful that electric stuff is. And wow, the frame rate really hurts here. You can see how slow the game's running by <laughs> how long of a five seconds that was. Oh, right. There we go. Back up to full speed. Yeah, look. There's just there's nothing here. Yeah, I'm not sure there's ever any point. Unless... Oh, fuck. Right. Oh. Okay. So... We can't actually go this way. Uh... Right, let's... Use our visor thing. Oh! There's little enemies there that I can't, you can't actually see. Oh, right, they're invisible. Fuck. Alright, I'm guessing it's dead now? Guess it's dead. Right, let's use some stuff. Uh, level 2 energy drinks are pretty badass. Right, what are we looking at? Oh man. So I'm guessing they only actually show up when we actually scan them with the glasses. Alright, cool. That's rough. What a terrible sight. Yeah. Looks like he's bow-legged. Come on. There we go. That's a nasty little, uh, nasty little surprise waiting for you right there. Alright, well, I mean, it could be worse. Mutant snails that fire lightning. Oof. Alright. That's... It's good that they are introducing 
obstacles that you need to use these glasses for, admittedly. And this goes to five? <coughs> Does it go to five or are we on five? Makes sense that it goes to five. Why would you label five? I don't know. This leads to a passageway. Is it a good... Oh, passageway with a save. Uh, uh, which is nice. We're on... Okay, so we are actually on deck five. Uh, and that's a good place as any to save it, to be honest, guys. Because we're out of time. Um, well, I mean, finally making some progress. Uh, that's generally a good thing. I like to make progress in my video games. Hopefully, we can make some more progress in the next part. Um, fingers crossed. But we have opened up a new area. And we do have some new enemies that we really need to be careful about. Those... Bloody hell, man. Those hidden snails, they don't fuck around. And they seem to do a decent chunk of damage as well. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And as always, 